following is a non-profit fan-based parody. Bleach is owned by Tight Kubo, Viz Media, Studio Piro, and TV Tokyo. Please support the official release. Oh, Kiora? Yes, Lord Smashmaster Groban. Is Orihime still holding up in her cell? Yes, Lord Smashmaster Groban, as she was 15 minutes ago. Excellent. Please confiscate her sketch pad and Pokemon Go again. Again? I want to sketch all the Pokemon she won't be catching. Now is the time? This is the sixth time. Oh, wow, six already? We're making good time today. Are you bored, Lord Smashmaster Groban? Ridiculous. All right. If I was bored, I certainly wouldn't be adding another wing to Lost Noches. For sand and towers, I imagine. And I definitely wouldn't have instructed each of my Espada to refer to me using a different secret title each. Of course not, Lord Smashmaster Groban. And finally, I certainly would not have sent Grimjog to the human world to order Chinese food. That was just me wanting Chinese food. It had nothing to do with- Oh! Hold that thought, Okiora. Holding that thought. Hold it firm and true. Gripping it like a vice. I- wait for it. Sense an explosion. You sense an explosion? A disturbance of the detonation variety. A sign that an irregular kinetic event will be unfolding. We have guests. I have a secret to confess, Ukiora. My lord. I may have been just the tiniest bit bored. I'm genuinely taken aback. Genuinely. Inform the Espada they no longer need to call me by my many clever underplayed titles. As you wish, Lord Former Smashmaster Groban. Now, kids, you know I had a lot of adventures with the guys. The Riverside fights with Uncle Chad, the time I broke Yoshida out of the secret CIA prison, the reason we take monthly trips to bring Sears catalogs to Eisen. But what I've never told you is the story of how I saved your mother. Is this going to take long? Yes. So your uncles Chad, Ishida, and I had just arrived in Waco Mundo, and we thought things were going pretty well. Yo, guys, where are we exactly? Would you keep it down? We just arrived. We don't want to get jumped by any enemies before we even get the lay of the land. I wasn't even being that loud. Any volume is too loud. From here on, we will communicate only with our spirit telepathy. Mm -hmm. That's a Quincy thing, isn't it? Telepathy! I don't hear anything. I think I felt something. Chad, don't encourage him. Mm -hmm. Is there any a spot out there who want to meet my friend Ishida? Ichigo? My friend Ishida really wants to meet an Espada. What are you doing? All day, he's been asking if we can get his mantle signed by an Espada. This is not very mature. I just dealt with the issue. Nobody came in to try to kill us, so we're probably in the clear. Ichigo, you flubber trucker, what are you thinking? Kids, he didn't say flubber trucker. I just don't think you're ready to hear what he said. Humans have stumbled into my underground. Perfect. Let us see if they can navigate my brilliantly placed assortment of mystifying traps. I am so angry, I will strike this wall. <laughs> now look what you've done. Hear me out, though. That pressure plate may not activate until you take your hand away. Not a guarantee. But as it has not gone off yet, let us assume this to be true. Which means we're safe as long as your hand is there. What is your point, Kurosaki? What if... You never move your hand. Are you suggesting that I... If you stay here forever, we'll be fine. Good plan, right? They've seen through the only weakness in my clever puzzle. Then I shall activate it remotely! <laughs> Chad, I've got you! You're the muscle! Don't quit on me now, muscle! I am too heavy! Nonsense! Gravity is relative! Ah! You idiot! <laughs> <sighs> Good <sighs> thing... We saved the muscle. Oh. Hey, oh. what do you mean when you said the muscle? Oh, well, this is like a heist. So we're each a core member of the team with different key attributes. Chad is the muscle. I am the brains. And you... And me. You are the ass -pull. Yeah, I am. I will crush these walls with my own two hands! Whoa there, Muscle. Are you okay? You seem upset. I am sorry that was loud of me. 
I wonder how far underground we are. Probably far enough to find Digimon X Evolution screenings. Yeah, that'd be the day. Did I just do what I think I did do just now? Now hear me out. What if you never move your foot? Frat spoiled again! You humans are a clever nuisance. It would appear we are being watched. Manual activation! I will handle this. We should run! I will handle this! Chad's being pushed back! If only there were other people to assist him! Amazing, Chad! Why am I so angry today? Good job, muscle. I will snap your neck! <laughs> All right, time to make first contact. Let's poke him till he dies. <laughs> Somebody mind explaining why we're running away? We've seen you fight, Mr. Ketsuka Tensho. We'd rather not have the corridor collapse in on us. Plus, he's huge and Chad is frightened. <laughs> Guess the last fight he had didn't go so well. Finally! We should be able to fight them here. Oh look, stairs up! We practically saved Orihime! We were a long way away from saving Orihime. Humans! You have fallen into my underground and by capturing you, I will earn my place among the Espada! Under no circumstances do I permit you to leave my underground. Unless you are being taken to Lord Groban. Only then, in that case, may you leave my underground. You got my bro Ace Slinger on your case. Ace if you'll ever get out now. Tamara, stop making puns out of my name! Come on, Ace. No need to linger on it. You are insufferable! Why haven't you captured them? Why did you let them get all the way here? I wanted them to meet you, bro. Tamora the Merrier. Stop it, Tamora! Stop with the name puns! What I'm hearing is that you two aren't a spotter. No, no, not yet. But when I bring you in, I'll be promoted for sure. I'll serve beside Lord Groban, and I'll be mega popular with all the other Espada. Would I be correct in assuming that we are quite far away from Aizen's hideout? Who? <gasps> they <gasps> don't know his name is Aizen. Thank you, Ichigo. Are we far from Lord Groban's base? Yeah, you'd have to eat your go real far to get there. Tamora! Makes sense. If I were Aizen, I would post you two as far away as possible. Who? Oh? Whatever. I'll make quick work of these two. <laughs> what are you two doing? Darkness within me, an echo of my ancestors' rage and hatred, swims to the surface of my heart and demands that I take the blood of those two dark spirits. I just want to kill a bitch. Well, the bitch killing's good. Besides, you have to conserve your energy, Ichigo. Why don't you have to conserve your energy? Are you planning on not fighting as much later? You flubber truckers! I have given you both ample time to prepare your butts for domestic thrashing. Let us exchange fists! Yeah! Get that big boy! Fish it up! Hold it! You'll be facing me! Prepare yourself for my special attack! Alright, guess I'll just go ahead and sit over here. Hey, amateur! What's up? Kids, I'd like to tell you that the voices in my head stopped one day. They never did. Sometimes you just gotta buckle down and accept your situation for what it is, head demons and all. What do you want? Just popping in to say hello. I hope you haven't forgotten about me. I wish. Why are you just watching your buddies fight? You should kill those other guys! They said they didn't want my help. What if they're just playing coy? They secretly might want you to prove you care by helping. Hey, Ishida! You need an assist? Damn it, Ichigo, let me have this! Not everything has to be about you! Well, there you go. Fair enough. It appears my opponent is too strong, and I can't deal sufficient damage! And my opponent is too fast, so I cannot land a proper hit! Oh, dudes, if only we had someone who was both the strongest and fastest on our team who could step in and- Oh, wait, I'm that. I can't wait to go to all kinds of fun events and hang out with my new Espada friend! I'll be such a good Espada! These guys are pretty curl sucky, huh, bro? How do you even know their names?! I stay up to date with Lord Groban's memos! He has memos?! Chad, switch! Why would we switch? Oh, wait, yes, good idea! Switch! Like a Nintendo? This is much better! No, don't fall on me, Tamora! Oh, good, this is fine! 
Vimora's strength prevented me from summoning my bow, so I could not counterattack. Icelinger's speed prevented Chad from ever landing a proper hit. The most logical solution was to switch opponents and play to our strengths. Frankly, I'm shocked that we did not think of this sooner. You're being very generous letting them have this. I know. Now then, with that settled and done with, let's go ahead and proceed to the third act. I got you a present, Icelinger. I even wrapped it up in a nice bow. <laughs> nice. I swear, Demora, one of these days! Quincy fact number 39. Low-level Aronkar appeared to suffer from a terrible case of thought process retardation. Perhaps a side effect of augmenting their bodies with robot hollow parts. Investigate further. All oh, right. I forgot he thinks that thing were hollows or robots. I'm glad that I remembered that. And then that I said it out loud for nobody's benefit. I barely even need to fight this guy. He's doing it all himself. Looks bruh. Okay. I feel the need to be a little honest. That did hurt my feet. I'm really concerned with my anger issues, you know? Like, ever since I got here, Malsumus has been whispering sweet nothings in my ear. It's confusing, you know? Like, like I don't know me. Like he's saying there's a violent side of me. I don't like it, but what if there is? What if I need to meet that violent side, you know? Just to better know myself, you know? Well, in any case, sorry about this. <gasps> See, I was okay with that. Which I am not okay with. <laughs> that human can't keep up with my speed. I'll run circles around him until he admits I'm super cool. Sorry, could you speak up a bit? What? It's just my hearing. It's a little bit off when I'm focusing so hard on slowing myself down. You can keep up with me? Didn't you hear my whole thing earlier about being fast and junk? Let the battle of speed commence! Oh, oh I got my yeah, I'm not going anywhere. I got oh. you. Okay. This is the worst! Uh, I'm hitting a brick wall here. I gotta think of a new plan. Dying is a plan. Consider that plan. Oh yeah? Well, I'm gonna use my best attack. You don't stand a chance. Was that supposed to sound like chance? Yeah, it wasn't very good. It was not. Weird, it's not wet. I thought it would be super gross, but it's completely dry. This is strange. That was my best attack. Go ahead and end me. You're pretty clairvoyant about this. Even when the tips are down, stress never gets me kind. That one was better, but you have to die. I'm not a violent man by nature, but I feel that if I give you a painful bloody death, then perhaps the terrible impulses I've had since getting here will subside. I shall murder because I care. Serious series. Single. Serious punch. Please do not cry. There is no need to be sad. So do you guys get paid some kind of currency or what? How does your job work? I am bored! Good. Eventually, we're going to hit a wall if we keep this up. I am going to put an end to you, human! You have survived my special attack. You have paralleled my unparalleled speed. But now you face the full force of my wrath. I shall rain down upon you countless arrows to shear and render your flesh! Countless arrows! Countless, I say! What are you doing? I am matching the full force of your wrath with a moderate amount of effort. Your output of 108 tiny bolts of reishi falls rather short. Do not count my countless arrows! They will cease to be countless when counted! You should know, Icelinger, that this paltry display of 108 bolts isn't worth the vocal volume you're warranting it. I am capable of over 10 times this amount. You're bluffing! Get flubber trucked, flubber trucker. Not what he said, kids. Don't ever copy Uncle Ishida. No need to lose our heads now! 
Possible. I was going to be so cool when I brought you in. I was going to get a promotion and be the best at being in a Sparta. Do me a favor. Tell Lord Groban that he should fear the Quincy. I'm laying on the ground dying. How am I supposed to tell him? Yes, well then, just shoot him a text or something. <laughs> What's this nonsense? Huh? <gasps> Everything's collapsing! This place was designed to collapse if we were ever defeated. That way its secrets couldn't be taken. Who could possibly have any reason to infiltrate this place? I'm glad it's breaking. The building makes no sense. Moan if you wish, but this place will be your tomb as well as ours. We shall be crushed and fall into despair. Rejoice, human, or you will die having fought again. There's stairs, though. We could just leave. Listen to my monologue! If we wait that long, we'll die! That's the point! Peace out! Peace! Peace. When you tell my story, tell the good, the bad, and the popular! Kids, we made it out of that underground facility just fine. Ishida, Chad, and I don't usually talk about those two weirdos we fought and the strange underground building. We probably never will. What's important, though, is that we were on our way to rescue your mother. Dad, we need to go to work. We're fully grown adults. Too bad. I'm telling a story. One of our observation facilities has fallen. We can assume that Ichigo and his friends have invaded. You were correct, Lord Groban. Excellent. It pleases me that they've arrived. It also pleases me that we have observation facilities. I had no idea. Well, the sand wasn't going to monitor itself, I suppose. I was worried we would continue to sit here complacently awaiting their arrival. Now I am content knowing all we must do is sit here complacently, awaiting their arrival. Certainly, my lord. We will soon be rid of those who tread upon your mission. Right. All right, new orders. Give Orihime back her sketchbook. Additionally, Ukiora. For the rest of today, you are to refer to me as Lord Joshington III, Slayer of the Silk Minotaur. You're bored already, Lord Joshington? Ridiculous. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We're back with Season 4. You guys may have noticed the episode's much longer than usual. This is something we're gonna try to keep up. We're adjusting our pacing to deal with the fact that it cuts down on copyright strikes if we do the content of multiple episodes within one episode. That said, we'd appreciate it if you guys had patience during this transitional period. We're trying to figure some stuff out on the channel. If you want to support our work and get things like seeing episodes early, then please check out the Patreon link listed. There you can see progress on our various series and help us make more content. If not, your viewership is greatly appreciated. And that's really all we need to keep going. We hope to get back on our feet and get back to updating regularly, like we always did. All that said, Here's some stuff that has basically nothing to do with anything that you didn't want to see. Bye bye. Yeah, I, I kind of like that actually. <laughs> I made a strong choice. We're fully grown Too bad. I'm telling a story. <laughs> I need to wait for this fact that you're during your one line. God damn. Dad, we really need to get to work. We're fully grown adults. Too bad. Adopted bastard. <laughs> Dad, we really need to get to work. We're fully grown adults. Too bad. I'm telling a story. <laughs> it's too long! <laughs> Just watching a cat do it. Just my choice. <laughs> to rescue your mother. Sorry, I looked right at you. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Ignore Uncle Chad, please. <laughs> Kids, we made it out of that underground facility just fine. Ishida, Ichigo, and I don't usually talk about those two weirdos we fought in that strange underground building. What's important, though, is that we were on our way to rescue your, your mother. <laughs> your, your mother? Your mother. Kids, we made it out of that underground facility just fine. Ichigo, Chad, and I don't usually talk about those two weirdos we fought in the strange underground building. Probably never will. What's important, though, is that we were on our way to rescue your mother. Dad, we need to go to work. We're fully grown adults. Too bad. I'm telling a story. 
And just what does that mean?